Today we are going to talk about what to do if you're still renting and how to prepare yourself for the mortgage. And I've got one trick that you can use right now to make sure the bank loves you when you turn up. Thanks for watching. I am Rupert Goff, founder and CEO of Mortgage Lab. Today I am talking to anyone who wants to buy a house in the near future and what they can do to make the banks love them. Now what we see most often is people turn up and they haven't been controlling their expenses. They have been living the high life, they've been buying Uber Eats whenever they want and they know that when they move into their new house they will change their spending habits. But the bank wants to see those spending habits change before you get a mortgage. One trick that people can use is to set themselves up a mock mortgage. Let's say your future mortgage at 7% is $700 per week. If you're currently paying $400 per week in rent, then you need to be putting $300 towards your savings. This shows the bank that you can afford that $700 a week with no problem. The key is you cannot touch those savings. If you have to dip into those savings because you've overspent, then the bank will know that you can't afford those future payments. Now I know that the current mortgage rate is below 3%, but the banks calculate your affordability at 7%. So if you can prove that you can actually pay a 7% mortgage, they will love you. The other benefit of this trick is that you are boosting your deposit every week and getting yourself towards a better mortgage. So figure out how much you think you're going to borrow, calculate the payments at 7% and make your rental plus your savings that amount. It's called a mock mortgage and every potential first home buyer should be doing it today. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more of these quick tips to help you buy your first home.